Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and today I'm going to show you eight brand new features that is a part of YouTube. Now, some of these you may have noticed, some of these you may have not. Some of these were added in a week ago. Some of them was added in two weeks ago, but I want to share with you how you can have a better experience on YouTube. And the first one that I want to show you is a way that you're able to fast forward any video. Now, as you may know, you can double tap the screen either on the right side to go forward 10 seconds or even on the left side. Again, a double tap can go back 10 seconds or if you just keep on tapping you're able to go in 10 second increments and go as far as you want in the video but maybe there is something that you don't want to skip over and you want to watch every single thing you can actually just press and hold on the screen and it'll go two times as fast now sometimes you can actually just follow along and listen to the entire video and you'll pick up on every single thing and sometimes it is a little bit too quick but it's a way that you're not skipping anything and you can just simply let go and then now you're able to watch it exactly where you want it to be Sometimes you may notice if you do a skip of 10 seconds, there was something that you completely missed, maybe an entire sentence that was explaining what you were just about to see. So I would suggest if you are watching a video, just press and hold anywhere on the screen and it's able to do a two time fast forward. Now this next one is one that will definitely help either if you're on the home and especially if you search for something. So right now I'm on the home tab and you can see that there's a couple different icons. On the home screen, you can tap right there and you can actually listen to the video in this form right here rather than tapping on the video you can see it there you can also turn on the closed captioning if you want to see what they're talking about but if you go to the very top and let's say that you search for maybe let's say the one ui6 now as you scroll on through some of these videos if they have these little chapters or timestamps, you'll have a additional icon and this is where you can skip to the very next timestamp or chapter so this way you can see exactly what they're talking about in the video and so again from here you can watch Watch it in this frame. You can see the closed captioning and you can also fast forward through the video to see if this is something that you're interested in or where in this video that you definitely want to watch. Now, don't forget if you actually click on the video, you start watching it on this timeline. If you swipe up, this is where you can actually see every single detail of the video. You can find it through what you are viewing on the screen. And the other thing is as you hit on that little more button, this is where you can see all the timestamps right there. And then this is where you can fast forward to see exactly what they are actually talking about in the video. Now, since we're inside of the description already, when you scroll down, you'll be able to see links. And if it is with a application such as YouTube, you'll be able to see the YouTube logo. Also, if there's any other social media, such as Facebook and Twitter, as well as Instagram, instead of you seeing the whole thing drawn out of basically, you know, www.instagram.com slash Jimmy's promo, all you basically will see is just whatever my handle is. And then also the icon of that application, you could tap on it. It's going to take you directly over into it. Either you can do it through the web or through the application itself. So they were now able to add in images, basically logos when it comes down into any of the links that are inside the description. Now for the next brand new feature, this is one of them that was just added in. If you go to your home page on the very top left hand side, you'll be able to see this little icon. This is where you can see the trending shopping, music, movies and TV, live gaming news. And if you do have YouTube premium, which I did sign up for YouTube premium just yesterday. So this way I can play with this brand new feature. There's one that's called playables. Now playables is a way that you're able to play some games. Basically, I think it's more like like cloud gaming rather than you downloading it to your phone. So this is going to show you some of the popular games that you can just go through and play with. You can actually browse through a bunch of them. There's a bunch more that's listed right here other than just whatever is sitting on the home. And there's a few games that I play that are actually very fun. So this stack bounce is super fun to play with. State IO is also another one that's fun. And so it's one of these games that is saved and loaded everything through YouTube. So it's not sitting on your actual phone. And so with this one, with State IO, this is where, this is me right here, I'm the blue area. And you just wanna to go to another area. Every single second, you're basically gaining another person, let's say. And what you want to do is you want to invade and beat out the other player that you're playing against, which I believe is just a regular computer. But this is where, let's see, I'm at 15, 16. So you want to have more than 10. And whatever you moved it over with, that's what it's going to end up as the other side. So if I moved over 16, it's going to start with six. Now, this guy over here is going to try to invade this one over here. And since I'm going to have a little bit more, I want to overtake this one as well. But you want to make sure that they are not going to take over one of those that you just took all the way down basically to zero. 
And it's just a way that you're able to kind of take over these different areas, these countries, the states, the continents, whatever you may be playing with. Originally, when you first start off, I was playing over inside of the United States, and then I actually moved over into other areas of all these other different countries. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to try to take over this one. And once you have every single area that is your color, then that basically means that you just win. Now, if this right here is going to beat me out, here we go. I'm going to take this over and just want to make sure that uh, there we go. We won. And so that's one of the games that you can play. Um, another game that was also very fun was Farmland. Farmland is one that's a simulation. I didn't think I would like it. But it's one of those where if you start putting in like five or ten different minutes, then you're going to actually notice that this one is actually pretty fun. This is where you're able to get apples. You can grow, uh, you know, uh, corn. You can grow a bunch of other things. You also have chickens. And so you can grab the eggs and then you want to take everything and you want to bring it over into the market so that you can get some money. But you also have a bunch of things that's over in your barn. So this one's a really fun one to play with. So if you are looking for recommendations, take a look at this one as well. So the ones that I played with that I did enjoy is Farmland. I also played with Stack Bounce. That was fun. And State IO. Now there's a bunch of other ones that I want to play with. I just didn't get a, the time yet. The Color Burst was okay, but nothing too fantastic. So it's a pretty fun way that you're able to play games inside of YouTube. It's just right there called Playables. So this one was very fun to play with. It is called Playables. So it's just games that's basically through a cloud. Now some of the other things that you have as a benefit. Now I signed up for the YouTube premium for two months. I was able to get two months for free. We'll see if I keep it or not, but there is more benefits. So this is where you can actually sign up for playables and some other experimental features. So here's some of the experimental features. So as you scroll on down, there's actually ask questions. So you get AI powered answers, and this is available until December 15th. Here is playables. This is where I was able to try it out. So you'll basically have the option right here where it says try it out, and then you'll have playables. This is available until March 28th. So it looks as if this is something that isn't there for forever. It's more of experimental. It's something that they might see if people actually play for it to be kept. And then this one right here, this is one that I will actually play with. Explore comment topics summarized by AI. This experiment uses AI to organize and summarize published comments on videos with large comment sections. So I'm gonna try this one out. I'm gonna play with it, see if it's another video that I need to do in the future. But basically it's gonna take all of the comments, summarize them all up together, and I guess I'm gonna see how it looks, but this is how you're able to turn on, try stuff out or turn off any of the experimental features. And this is just a part of the, the, the premium benefits of YouTube. Now this next feature is one on the very bottom. This is probably one that you noticed. You don't really know exactly what all they did with it. So pretty much this is the U tab. So the U tab is now pretty much your account page and library. I believe this used to originally be called library but they kind of merged everything together. So this is my account and library. I can see my history. I can view everything. If I want to go back to a video that I used to play or that I started and I wanted to go back and then I also have, here's my playlists. Here's my videos. If I want to take a look at my videos, I can take a look at my time watch. So this is kind of the details and information for nerds. And then on the very top, I can switch my account or I can just view my channel. So this is my channel here. Here's my videos. Here's my shorts. And I can just take a look at every single thing. But yeah, so this is one of the things that's new is that they merged two things together, which is your account page along with your library. Now, this next feature is one that was technically added in maybe a month ago, maybe two months ago, but maybe you didn't notice that this was actually there. But when you go inside of the comments and sometimes you watch a portion of a video and you're just like, whoa, this is fantastic. Or, oh my gosh, did you see this? And if you wanted to write a comment or maybe you're about to type it out, but then you have to go back to the video, tap on the screen again, go back to the timestamp. You wanted to see when something happened, but all you'd have to do is tap on this little icon right there. That is timestamping the video. And then you're able to make your comment for what happened at that moment. So this way, if you write a comment and you're like, whoa, this was fantastic. Did anybody see this? If they read your comment, they tap right there. It takes them to that point in the video. And then, yeah, that's just a way that you're able to interact with other people watching the video. So it's a fun way that you're able to put in a timestamp and you're able to do it pretty much automatically. So every single time that a second passes and you tap on that, you're going to have that brand new timestamp for that second in the video. Now, next up, let's talk about ambient mode. So ambient mode is something that is automatically turned on when you first get a brand new phone or when you update an application, if there's a bunch of changes, you can see here that there's, you know, it's kind of black here. It's kind of got a lighter color there. So it's trying to do an ambient light surrounding the video. And it does the same thing in horizontal mode as well. 
How you're able to turn this on and off is you might have gone through your YouTube settings, but that's not where it is. It is in the settings of when you're watching a video. So as you're watching a video, you go inside of the settings, you go to additional settings, and this is where you can turn off ambient mode. So you just turn it off, and now it's completely black along the top, completely black along the bottom. You don't have that little ambient light that's kind of surrounding. And another thing that's sitting there that is also brand new within the last week is stable volume. So stable volume is where you're able to make sure that your video is not going to go wild and crazy if there's a point where it's super loud at one point and it kind of gets quieter and then a big bang kind of comes. This will make everything stable so this way you're not going to get bombarded with a massive amount of maybe sound at the beginning and then a quiet talking voice and then loud sound again. You're able to kind of even and level everything out. And then lastly, this is one that I guess we could try to go for. This is where if you search for something, you can actually search for a song via either humming, listening to music. So you don't have to go inside of Google to get this done. You gotta remember Google owns YouTube. So you can just go right here and let's say you search and maybe you don't know the words, but you kind of know how it is as you're humming it. And if you go like this right here, you can search for either the voice or a song. So you can go to song and you can go like this. And there we go. So you have Oh Christmas Tree. I almost started it with Jingle Bells, but I guess I went with Oh Christmas Tree and I was able to pick it up. So you can actually hum and it's able to find the music videos or anything based along whatever you just hummed. So if there's a little earworm or a little song stuck in your head, you don't know exactly what it is, but you kind of know how it goes if you hum it. You can now actually do it through the search on YouTube itself. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. This was eight brand new features as a part of YouTube itself. Maybe you knew of some of these, maybe you didn't, but it's a way to definitely enjoy your experience a little bit more when it comes down to YouTube. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.